Pool Wildlife Sanctuary is located in the heart of Emmaus, Pennsylvania. The Little Lehigh River flows through our property, and so we are very accessible no matter where you are in the Lehigh Valley. So we have a variety of wildlife, everything from snakes, we have some mammals, and then we also have birds of prey, owls, a crow, all sorts of animals, mostly native and some non-native as well. And so we use those for programming to educate people their role and how we impact them and what their status is. I got Cabbage here. He is a striped skunk, native to North America. Um, he's one of our friendliest animals here at Wildlands. The really cool thing about skunks is when they're born, they're born hairless. And every skunk has a um, specific stripe um, to them. The amazing thing about their spray is they can spray up 12 feet away. And then from there, the wind can carry it a couple miles. We have a number of ways that we use our wildlife. So people either come here to Pole Wildlife Sanctuary or we go to them like a school or a Girl Scout troop or something like that. And we have naturalists, they're our front line. I am a naturalist, so we work to educate the public about the environment and what they can do to protect it. Harvey is a ball python and ball pythons are actually from Africa, but we use them as one of our educational animals because they are a prime example of evolution. Ball pythons evolved from an animal that had legs, so they actually still have residual legs. They're little spurs that are by their tail. You can see right here. And if you were to do an x-ray of Harvey, he would have hip bones and leg bones down here by his tail. Harvey is about 10 years old. They can live to be 30 in the wild and I think the oldest recorded one is almost 50 years old in captivity. And here we have an example of three different birds here at Pole Wildlife Sanctuary that we use for educational programs. So we're gonna start in the middle with Rembrandt, who's a barred owl. He looks really big, but if you stick a finger up, that's how much floof he has. So he's very tiny, actually. It's just a lot of feathers. Remy has a nictitating membrane, which is an extra eyelid. So when he blinks, you can see a white film kind of come sideways. That's what it is, and it um, helps him see through harsh weather while he's flying. So this is Romeo. He was acquired last year from the National Academy of Sciences in Philadelphia. He can't be released because he doesn't have a tail like most other crows do. His never grew back. We've had him for about a year. Crows can be found all over the United States. He's inquisitive and he just looks around all the time and is very observant. Right here we have an eastern screech owl. He is native to the eastern part of the United States and he stretches up to Canada and then down to Mexico. They have many, many bones in their neck versus us. He's actually able to spin his head around 270 degrees and that um, allows them to be aware of their surroundings. He's about 11 years old, and so he's never allowed to be released because he'll never actually make it out in the wild. I want to thank my newfound friends at the Wildlands Conservancy for letting me hang out with them. Thanks, everybody. I certainly learned a lot. I'll see you at the Temple University reunion, and it, what did you say, nevermore? <laughs>